We are on the road in Grand Island. International Trade Seminar being hosted by Congressman Adrian Smith. One of those presenters, Dr. Ronnie Green, who is Indy Vice President and Vice Chancellor for the Institute of Agriculture and Natural Resources. And uh, uh, Ronnie, you talked about UNL's role, and, and maybe some people don't think about it, but when it comes to trade, there's a lot of things intertwined with the at UNL. Well, oh, absolutely, Ken. I mean, you know, with the, the education mission we have, the research mission we have, the extension mission we have, which influences the kinds of young people that are going to go into the field first and foremost, and and uh, enhancing their education around international trade is a big plank of where where we're headed. But the research work we're doing that continues to increase the production from the state of Nebraska, which increases the opportunity for more export trade, um, and uh, the innovations that we're, we're involved in there. So I talked a lot about that this morning with the group here, and uh, we're excited about what's happening. All right. Uh, also, uh, a big part of that is what's going on at Innovation Campus. That continues to grow. You continue to have uh, more and more tenants. Uh, we do. Uh, we're about two weeks away from our big formal grand opening of the first phase of Innovation Campus on the former state fairgrounds there in Lincoln. Uh, about 380,000 square feet of new facilities that we've been very pleased to be able to stand up the last couple of years, just finishing up the very last pieces of new food innovation center, new greenhouse complex, uh, new innovation center, new conference center, all located there together. Um, and uh, very pleased with the progress on partnerships that we're developing, especially in food and in plant science areas uh, in this first focal area in the water area the water for food institute is located now on innovation campus uh, the food innovation centers were really exciting development for us our food science and technology department moved into that facility in july uh, we our student programs are there nothing like it anywhere in the world um, we're very, very pleased about that and nothing like it in relation to industry where we're working not only with ConAgra as our anchor partner, but also with Nestle and Cargill and Hershey and um, you know lots of the majors in the food industry around development of new food safety technology in particular. Looking at Innovation Campus, uh, there's been some numbers released. Uh, this truly is a collaborative effort, not only within the university, but the agriculture and, and, and food communities. Uh, sure, it sure is. I mean, it's a, it's a major effort. To, uh, to develop this innovation campus. You know, lots of folks will remember the moving of the State Fair. We're here at the new State Fairgrounds today for Congressman Smith's trade um, event. And it's been a huge success here the last six years. Just finished up a few weeks ago, a very successful run of the fair. Um, but a huge, huge investment on the part of the state and on the part of private industry. Uh, we just have, are finishing up a report that um, we're providing to our state legislature that talks about that investment. Uh, it's just over $180 million so far that has gone into the development of this first phase of the campus and enabling the future developments. Well over half of that from uh, the private sector not from state funding or from university funding, but from uh, private partners in the private sector. So a uh, big undertaking. We think it's going to pay off for many, many years to come for, for the state and for the university uh, to be able to help innovations happen faster and move out to the public faster. I'd be remiss if I didn't talk about uh, how this fall is going on campus with undergraduates. Uh, we know you have some roles looking at the full university, but uh, uh, still very much attached to IANR. And uh, yet again, uh, the College of Agriculture really uh, showing a growth yet again. Uh, we're, we're very pleased. The, the university reached an all-time record enrollment this fall uh, for UNL. Uh, just passed our previous record in 1981 by a little bit, but we're very pleased about that. So uh, well over 25,000 students now on the campus and in ag for our College of Ag Sciences and Natural Resources, 11th straight year of enrollment growth. A little less this time, but nonetheless, we were still up in overall enrollment. Um, just under 4,000 students at either the Lincoln campus, the College of Ag Sciences and Natural Resources, graduate and undergraduate students, or at Curtis at the Nebraska College of Technical Agriculture. The huge enrollment there, over 500 for the first time in their history, taking classes through NCTA. Um, so we're, we're very pleased about that. 
Um, we know that the job market that is out there for students studying in fields of agriculture, uh, Director Ibon talked about that here today, uh, is considerably under in terms of supply, what the demand is for students who are trained with background in agricultural, um, agricultural sciences, natural resources sciences. Uh, so that's part of what's drawing that increased enrollment that we see to some degree nationally, but we've especially seen here uh, in, in the last decade plus now. All right, well, Dr. Green, uh, keep up the great job. Uh, you continue to have a great team that's supporting the goals that you set since you've been here. Well, and we're, I should have mentioned earlier, you asked me <laughs> about uh, the, the trade seminar. You know, one of the things we're really, really excited about as well um, is a new institute that we're developing. I talked a lot about that here today in the trade area, um, honoring Clayton Yider, former yes. Secretary of Agriculture and U.S. Trade Ambassador, New Yider Institute of International Trade and Finance. So we're very excited about that too and the opportunities well, it's going to give our students. We also let folks know too, mark your calendars in January, uh, Dr. Yider as well as Ambassador Vetter coming to uh, the campus. Well, uh, Ambassador Vetter is here today. Uh, great to see her in Nebraska, and she's doing yeoman's work for, for all of agriculture as the chief negotiator and trade ambassador for USDA. Uh, so she'll be back in January. On January the 12th, our second human lecture of the year will be that evening where Clayton will be coming and joining Darcy and I in a, in a dialogue about the importance of trade, uh, both current day and the historical perspective that only somebody like Clayton can provide. Uh, so we're looking forward to that on the Innovation Campus the night of January the 12th. Dr. Ronnie Green, who is uh, the Vice Chancellor of the Institute of Agriculture and Natural Resources at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, also any Vice President, has joined us on the road in Grand Island. I'm Ken Rogers.